that's the thing that Burmese ghouls like. I'm expecting them to kind of adapt, right? You you use the wild charge if you have to. You can use the terrify mechanic with uh, having the valent done. Once again, it's match point here. Burmese ghouls in this best of three. It's a single elimination match. Twisted Minds has to stay in the game here. And with the draft that they have, are they in position? Once again, Soxa in that jungle on the Guinevere. And across from a man, we of course have Seven Oda on this Fredrin again. We'll see how this kind of unfolds and what the pacing is going to be here for both these teams. I do think that uh, kind of just building upon like two aggressive teams going at it, I think Twisted Minds has to take a step back, right? They, Burmese Ghouls controls that aggression. They have a, a great con controlled aggression, and Twisted Minds is just going to have to play a little passive here. They need to come online and stay and keep Burmese Ghouls at bay. If they can just essentially bait them, not lose too much, and keep them at bay, I think the passive play is the, the correct approach, and we can already see that coming from Mars right he's not not being as vision aspect as he used to be last time he's gonna uh, apply the pressure in the exp lane because we were seeing that dlar was just uh or dlar was just going insane against uh mike there and i think that we need to utilize the yuzong quite a bit from twisted minds right that's the yeah. only response we really have to the bruno yeah, and with that still, the focus on the top lane already looking for that first blood blow. Whew, Delar. The flicker out will be just fine, but this is what we're talking about, the pressure, right, from Twisted Minds, the lineup that they have. Oh, Ooh. even with that, Nico trying to get the combination off when he had that I'm offended stolen over from Morrow. But now with that, first turtle is going to be up here for both teams to go ahead and start up. Burmese Ghouls getting a position. Blink not having that level four, doesn't have the wild charge yet. Dragon form gonna be used by Mike, pushing Soxa back. Nico tries to jump in. There's the wild charge though. Seven Oda able to secure it. Now Soxa on the run as he gets taken down. First blood from Mike. This is good. Twisted Minds are able to get the, the first blood here. <laughs> Hermes Ghouls being put at bay, right? Like, and I feel like yep. the Gwyn, right? The Gwyn is a, it's it's more of the assassin type of jungle. It can get in, get out, and you have to utilize it like that, right? And I think from the side of Twisted Minds, having that utility jungle is going to keep Burmese uh, Ghouls at bay. Now, to response, I think Burmese Ghouls needs to press even harder against Twisted Minds, because you can already see that the passive plays are happening from them, and they're just keeping uh, Burmese Ghoul at bay. Um, Economically, not too bad. Burmese schools keeping it up, um, as well as Swiss and Mines even securing that first blood. Not too uh, much of an emid here. Um, oh, we see an engage. Okay. Yeah, as we jump in, Soxa though, able to survive. Whoa, there's the pole though. I'm offended, gonna find the connection they were looking for. Now uh -huh. gonna be caught under the wall. Morrow's gonna be the one to fall. Seven Oda gonna be the next target. Goes in with the Brazer's Wrath, still trying to hold on, able to scoot on under the turret and will survive. That was a crazy trade. I mean, we, we lost it for a second when we came back and it was just <laughs> a, a fight going for it. <laughs> it was like a rabbit being pulled out of a hat right there. We, did, we were like, what's going down? And then bam, they hit us and Burmese Ghouls showing Twisted Mind what they're bringing to the land of dawn here. Uh, it was that was that was a good go by Burmese Ghouls. And it just goes to show that they have a really solid front line. And oh, my God. Wow. Mike was just taken out. Yeah, that was very quick. Again, KO'd. Laying things together. Yeah, getting getting KO'd there. Uh, but still, Burmese Ghoul's trying to find this lead that they can. Morrow going to go in with I'm offended. Nico, look at the damage. The burst is there as Nico's going to be the one to fall. And now it's a blink going to be the focus. The next target gets shattered down, but will be able to survive for now. Delar trying to help him out. Turtle's going to be up. Oh, Nico out of the picture. They have to carefully approach this. Mike, Sama uh, also there, Coffin in position. There we go. The uh, Glaciers coming down, but I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get the position they were looking for. Delar now going to be working on it. There's the Violent Requiem. Oh! Turtle will be screwed. Soxa, he's able to pull it through. Still going. Cuffin's going to be the one fall now. Seven Oda there jumps in. Wall's going to come down, but the flicker follows through. Delar looking for the kill on Mike. Gets dragged down. Back to it. Nico gets the kill, though. No one falls for Burmese Ghouls. Two down for Twisted Minds. And I think they might want to take out Morrow here as well. Ooh. KO punches coming out. 
Able to secure the kill for Nico there. Burmy School is now showing that same aggression that we've seen in the last game. And I got to give it up to him, right? That was crazy. The Black Dragon utilized by Twisted Minds was their key. They were attempting to try to zone out and and still fear into Burmese ghouls utilizing that black dragon and it just wasn't there they didn't give up the pressure they were like I don't care about that dragon in the sky bring it at me <laughs> utilize that violet requiem to set him up and then not only utilizing that spatial migration to come in and hit the retry on the turtle was just crazy from the side of Burmese ghouls for Twisted Minds once again in this, uh, a position where they're finding themselves economically falling behind, right? This is tough. Big item pickups here too for Burmese Ghouls. Berserker's Fury there. And uh, also to deal with some of the sustainability from Twisted Minds already with the Halberd. So they're still going to be working on it. The resources are also going to be taken through here. Burmese Ghouls, when they have the lead, this is what they like to do, right? They like to continuously put the pressure here. Pay attention to Blink. A lot of the times, he's going to be doing exactly what he has to with this Grok pick, and he will be decisive enough to use that wild charge when he needs to. There's the jump in, though. Morrow could be in trouble if they commit further. He's quite tanky himself, so right now, nothing but it's Twisted Minds holding on to the pressure. Concealed okay. play going to be used. Blink's still there, providing the vision with this Grok. Turret's going to fall, though. Tier 2 in the bottom lane. And there's nothing right now that Twisted Minds can do. Turtle's going to spawn, though. Yeah, I mean, Twisted Minds, they attempted to do what I was saying earlier on. Keep that passive play in mind uh, and, and try to secure some of the neutral objectives. But I do think they have lost. They, they kind of tunnel vision into that aspect and and trying to figure out how to counter the aggressiveness of Burmese schools is the, the play here for Twisted Minds. They're, they're being pushed back against that wall once again, being forced to mount up defenses. I like their play right here. They're tempted to try to take some Something. If they can't get the tur turtle, maybe we can take a tower. Oh, they might be able to get a pick here in the bottom lane. Well, still going to be working on it. That's Delar going to be in trouble. Oh! Flicker's health, though. He's able to survive the 1 2. Delar survives despite a full on focus plus the turtle taken for Burmese Ghouls. That, man, I thought they were going to get a pick and a turret, but we do see Burmese oh. Ghouls clapping back. Clapping back, they do. They get a kill. They're happy about it. Burmese Ghouls furthering the lead they had. <laughs> Malefic Roar picked up by Stitch. The damage department's going to hurt here. And right now, Twisted Minds backs completely against the wall. Under the 10-minute mark. It's a looking dire here. Still, Morrow going to jump in. Oh. I'm offended. Still, the wild charge comes through, too. It's a mega kill already for Nico. And Twisted Minds down the roamer. Trying to hold on to these shields the best they can on these last turrets into the base. Yeah, I mean, you gotta give it up to Nico there. We see Morrow trying to come in to get a great eye offended. I'm offended set, and then Nico like, hold up, I'm I'm quite a I, I'm offended <laughs> that you just tried to uh, offend me, and then pulled back the clap there, and that just allowed Burmese Ghouls to just keep scaling. The economic lead is definitely in the favor of Burmese Ghouls and Twisted Minds. What I think they're really lacking compared to last game is they just I don't know if they have that defense that they can mount. Oh, once again, conceal play gonna be used. Mike gonna be the focus, still surviving for now. Wild Ooh. charge goes through, Blink uh. gets the kill. What a play. Now Morrow gonna be in trouble, goes in. Another flicker as Morrow falls, two down, under the turret of Twisted Minds. Still, Burmese Ghouls unrelentless here as they assault parts of the base. Still working on the turrets, though. Twisted Minds, what can they do? Trying to hold on here. 10,000 gold behind. The turret's going to be worked on. Delar in position. The one-two punch. It is deadly, but they're going to get the turret. They're happy with it. Might get the mid as well. Yeah, I think they're going to take as much as they possibly can here just before they back off and take the Lord. Are they going to actually... So they're not even worried about the Lord. They're like... Go ahead and go solo that, Soxa. We'll keep them at bay. Keep them pressed against the wall. Maybe take another turret here. And Twisted Mind is trying to find a lead somewhere that they can stop Burmy School's pressure. And I think it's just tough, right? The, I feel I feel like the Cuffin is going to have to utilize that Frigid Glacier to do something. The Black Dragon also could be utilized to mount up a defense. Again, this is only the first Lord, so it's not enhanced, but Twisted Minds is wide open at this point. Um, they're going to have to 
Gee, you know what is, is enhanced right now? Barbie's ghouls. <laughs> <laughs> I think anybody can answer that right now. I mean, with this lead, man, it is deadly. And it's it's the same thing that happened in the previous game. And even more enhances Delar. Malefic Roar just picked up. Pressure is going to be here. They're holding on to this bottom turret. Yeah, it's the first Lord. But at this point, when you have this kind of lead, man, it's it, it's tough to deal with, right? They, Burmese Ghoul is completely controlling this pace just like they did in the previous game so now going to be working for it lord in the mid lane twisted minds the work cut out for them they have to pull out some kind of miracle here if they can stay into it dragon form going to be popped delar on the bat side might be looking for his own entry point they're going to try to hold on the best they can clear the waves out Keep an eye on gonna be worked on. It's gonna be going. Saxon could be in trouble. Goes in. Wild charge. Not gonna find the connection they're looking for. Delar waiting patiently on the backside, looking for his own entry point. There Goes in with one two punch. Gets a couple off. Has to flicker out though. Lord finally to get worked on. Taken down by Tissin Mind. Still holding on. Morrow though goes in with the. I'm offended. There's the glacier they're looking for, but they lose a couple bodies in the making. Cuffins next. Passive gonna be popping, he's gonna go Ooh. down. Now Burmese Ghouls looking to take Twisted Minds out. Still working on the base, but they wanna get Mike. They take him out, and now it's only Sano. Base gonna be worked on, and Burmese Ghouls will sweep the series 2-0. Sending Twisted